Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the Brugly channel. I'm your host, Brugly, and in this video I want to go over Backroom's level 1000. Now I know what you're thinking. Brugly, this isn't on the Wikidot. I know, it's from the fandom. But the Wikidot doesn't have any of Cluster 2, so I decided to just hop over to the fandom to go over this one, this one time. Hopefully you enjoy it. Nevertheless, it's still an interesting level. Without further ado, let's get into it. Level 1000, aka the Cardinal level, is the level that kicks off the second cluster, or the second set of 1000 levels in the backrooms. So level 0 through 999 is cluster 1, and level 1000 to level 2000 is cluster 2. Fact. It's classified as a class 2 difficulty and is unsafe, but it's kind of secure because it's not like changing that much. You'll get what I mean in a second. The level looks like a conglomeration of random hallways and pathways with tan concrete walls and shaggy blue carpet. Some people say that it kind of resembles level zero, but like in a weird concrete urban way. The level has tons of old furniture in the hallways, like couches and fans and tables, beds, nightstands, you know, typical household stuff. But it's all really old and it looks used, which is kind of nasty if you think about it. Sometimes there will be a random wooden door on either side of the concrete hallways, and if you open these doors, you'll be led right into a room with a ton of supplies in them. Supplies like food, almond water, you know, that kind of supplies. And even though it's really rare, you can also find working computers in these storage rooms, sometimes, which could be useful if you're bored. The ceilings in this level have actually been discovered to have a ton of wires in them. And there's also like this weird piping up there too, and it's almond water that typically flows directly through the pipes. Now I know I just said there's wires in the ceiling, but not just a few wires. There's like a ton of electrical wires, huge groups and bundles of them, and they all lead somewhere. And this leads some people to believe that this level somehow powers all of Cluster 2. Now, I don't know if that's true, but it might be. And some people even think that these pipes give almond water to the rest of the levels because they can't see where the pipes lead to. It's a pretty interesting theory. The floor on the level isn't just blue shag carpet because sometimes it's a really nasty wooden floor. And it can be very dangerous if it gets wet because it can crack and you can just fall through it. If you walk far enough into the level, then you'll probably run across random boiler machines tucked away into these halls. It's best to avoid them because they literally have a chance of blowing up and exploding just right in front of your face. So avoid them at all costs. You know, unless you like getting exploded by a boiler. The deeper you go into the level, the less stable things get. Like for example, after a while, the lights will stop working and it'll start flickering and the carpet itself will get more wet and the floor will start to just crack and break open. It's said to immediately turn around if you start seeing the halls deteriorate like this, to just go around the opposite way. But the weirdest thing about this level is that it's a place that people can noclip directly into from reality. Now obviously people are most likely to noclip into level 0, but some have reportedly been noclipped directly into this level, level 1000. And I gotta be honest, that would be terrible, because this level's more dangerous than level zero, and there's like no meg base here to help you, so you're kind of screwed. There's also a really mysterious set of rooms in level 1000 called the White Rooms. Now, this area was discovered by someone named Mini Me Gaiman 090, and it turns out that the area is laid out exactly like the main section is, but every single surface here is made out of a white reflective metal. And instead of the walls just being tan concrete with no windows, this section has blindingly bright windows and white walls, and these windows shine directly into the level and they reflect and glow off of all the floors and stuff. So it's blindingly bright. It's advised to not stay in this part of the level for long, because the brightest drains your sanity and can cause unaliving pretty quickly. On top of it being bright, this part of the level also causes your vision to go into black and white only, meaning you can't see color, which is pretty cool. Just kidding, that's terrible. And the only good part about this section is that there's been no entities reported. Speaking of entities, 
The only confirmed ones in the main part are Windows, Smilers, Dollars, Hounds, and sometimes there's a Death Moth or two. Obviously, there isn't many of these entities since the level is only classified as Class 2, but maybe that's a good thing. Maybe. But if you encounter any of these, just run away and they'll probably stop following you. Probably. To enter this level, you have to venture through level 999, which I'll leave a link down below to the video I made about it. It's a banger, but it explains what you have to do to get here. Check it out. And to exit the level, you can noclip through a wall to be sent back to level 483, or you can walk through a random blue door to be sent to level fun. Don't recommend that. Or you can find an entrance to a hotel corridor type area, and if you walk into that, you'll be sent to the next level, which is level 1001. Cool. Also, there are no bases here, so don't say I didn't talk about them or if I forgot them. They're just not here. So to summarize level 1000, you've got a level of really windy hallways with blue wet carpet and tan concrete walls, and a nasty mildewy smell that goes on forever, and ever, and ever. There are random doors that open to supply rooms, and there's a chance, if you wander deep enough into the level, that you'll get to the white rooms, which itself is a section full of blindingly white lights and reflective surfaces. That's pretty much it. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's the explanation of Backrooms Level 1000. Hope you liked it. If you didn't, then I don't know what to tell you. You're a loser. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. And thank you so much just for everything on the channel, every support. Recently, it's just been insane. Thank you all so much. Make sure you check out my second channel. Turn post notices on over there because I'm stockpiling a bunch of videos to be uploaded. It's going to be a lot of fun. Get ready for that. I think you guys are going to like them. The story times are pretty epic. I'm not going to cap. Go check the description for any links you need, like Twitter, Discord, or whatever. And while you're down there, comment Road to 200k because we are only 20k away from 200,000 subscribers. And if you comment Road to 200k, I'll drop a heart on your comment. Because if you do that, you're a real one. Thank you to everyone for interacting with the content, leaving likes and everything. Thank you so much. Thank you to my patrons and channel members for supporting me a little bit extra and funding stuff like new audio equipment, new editing stuff. Just thank you all for everything. It means a lot. Thank you for watching and supporting me, and I will see you later. Brugly out.